All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and in today's video, obviously it's a Union Cross video, we're gonna be doing the latest Vengeful Villains event that recently came into the game. Um, I wanted to do this right when the thing came out, but I wasn't able to because of work, so I'm doing it now. So without further ado, we'll just jump straight into it. You guys are free to gain whatever insight from my setups as much as you want i'm basically just gonna go full throttle into it and just kind of go bam 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 and just start knocking them out so first off with hades i already completed him but we're gonna start over just so you guys can actually see what i did so without further ado let's get started i do have the peter pan medal uh just for reference you don't really need it though where the heck is there she is so the overlying theme for my setup is I, I it's it's just supposed to be a giant magic based setup. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that was a lot quicker than I was expecting. Uh watch out for poison and paralysis. Number above his head gets smaller with every hit. And, okay. And the counter attack. So I'm guessing a blue counter. Lux. Oh my god, they're dying way too fast. For an event like this, I'm really hoping that like it gets drastically harder towards the end. Because when they say like vengeful villains or whatnot, it sounds like it's gonna be like an intense, an intense event, but it's not really so far. So far, I'm only at level 1000s. I honestly probably don't even need to use supernovas. Yeah, I don't even need to use supernovas yet. Round four, we have Hades again. Are no? Are they? No, maybe. Are they just gonna repeat the same three people over and over again? That'd be kind of dumb if they do. Well, we're at level two thousand now. So it should be a little bit harder, but it's still gonna be pretty easy. Yeah, it's it's still pretty easy. I didn't even get to use Elsa yet. All right, so round five. Yep, they're just repeating the same people over and over again. Okay, that's kind of lame. I thought it was gonna be more unique. Concept is cool, but the execution is kind of lackluster, in my opinion. Okay. Alright, finally. We got someone new. We're on round six, and we have Dragon Maleficent. Okay, so... We might actually see some pretty legitimate villains hopefully towards the end i don't know how many times they're gonna repeat them although i hope it doesn't it's not too much because that's kind of how should i word it a little anticlimactic again with hades this time he's level 3000 still not really i like honestly it's not gonna get really get that difficult until it starts hitting level 5000 At least for me, I should probably say. I'm not gonna really get that At least we're heading towards the realm to, of territory where I might need to start using Supernova soon. Once we start getting to level 4000, I will. Now right, we got Jafar. Level 3000 as well. Cool beans. Not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting it to be slightly harder. 
towards the middle. Like, I want something to strive for. I don't really feel like I'm striving for anything right now. I'm still mad that they haven't upgraded the original Elsa to Supernova Plus or Supernova Plus Plus. All right, so we're finally on level 4,000, round 10. Now is when the difficulty should definitely be ramped up a bit. I should still be able to get past this fairly easily, uh, but I'll actually have to start using Supernovas here most likely. So we got Jafar again, level 4,000, round 11. Next round is when I might actually need to go into a second round. The mastery mechanic on the supernovas is so nuts. It does so much extra damage. Like you notice I did go through like almost my entire setup just for the last round against the speed. When, I, when I'm up against power, it's like just murders them. All right, finally we're on level 5,000, round 13 against Hades. Yeah, not gonna lie, not necessarily disappointed because it's not a bad event but more so the fact it's just boring that's probably the best way to put it it's not nearly as exciting i mean we fought all these villains like plenty of times before in the past that by this time it's just not as exciting we want something new or at least i would like something new Okay, so finally, we actually have to go into a second round. Awesome. Perfect. All right, round 14. Jafar again, level 5,000.
Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I was so confused. I'm like, why is my strength be carrying over? It's because I believe Elsa lasts for two turns. That's why. Which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm so used to killing things on one turn, I completely forget that she lasts like two turns. Alright, last but not least, we finally have Dragon Maleficent. Round 15. And here we go. Oh, whoops. Look how much damage it could do. Seven million, or billion, whatever that is. Billion, but not the eight billion. Absolutely nuts. Barely did what, like, Three billion against the last opponent so far. Oh, it's literally like one hit away. There we go. All right, well, that was the Vengeful Villains event. Not nearly as difficult as I was hoping would be. It was fairly straightforward. It's for the, it's basically, can you brute strength it or not? That was it. The concept's cool, but the execution was very lackluster. So we got like a crap ton of gems. I'm just gonna quickly level up my equipment. But other than that, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I am hoping to get some more, like, just casual Kingdom Hearts videos that are not, you know, metal videos out on the side whenever I get the chance to. But it all just kind of depends right now. Uh, I am busy with work lately, which is why I'm not really posting as many videos at the moment. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. Other than that, my name is Brent from KX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.